Alright, still Thursday, July 26th, 2012. This uh, second video I'm recording today. And this one might not be uploaded to uploaded today. It might be uploaded tomorrow. Cause I, I got a lot of stuff to do. I got a lot of videos to upload. So, might not be uploading this one today. But, um, you know, it's coming. Before I leave. Alright, now, um, this topic right here. Like I said, I'm going to try to keep it PG-13. But with the name of this topic, I doubt that's going to happen. Alright, um... Reality TV shows in today's age. As y'all know, I talked about Georgia Shore in the past. Team, um, I talked, I made a video about the Bad Girls Club. I made a video about American Idol back in April 2011. I talked about, um, Pia Toscano, whatever her name was. And most recently, Loving Hip Hop Atlanta. Now, um, Team, um, they're in their final season. They're finna get out there. Thank goodness. Georgia Shore, they're on a break. But sadly, they'll be back for a sixth season. But I am going to, um, but I think I am proud about, excuse me, is that, um, they have the nerve, the audacity to do a spinoff. Then who's part of the dad's own spinoff? Nicole Pelosi and Jenny, what's her face? Or as we know them as, Snooki and Jay Wow. Who, who had Viacom MTV Networks and all that? Thought that this was a good idea. If they should get a spit off, I sure don't think so. These two girls suck. I'm pretty sure that show, show sucks. And I'm pretty sure nobody's really watching that show. See, it, it, lucky they some people watching Jerry Show, but I don't think they're going to be watching Snooky and J.R. They suck. Alright, now moving on. I'm not going to get on that crappy show too long, but um... Well, the shows I had named on the um, previous video, I'm, I'm getting on there now. Alright, now VH1, they, now, I remember they had Flavor of Love, Rock of Love, For the Love of Ray J, I Love New York, I remember that wave, um, back, no, not Bad Girls Club, um, Fit Club, Celebrity Fit Club, and those shows, right, I remember those shows, I want to work for D, I remember those, See, oh, not seeing that one out. I remember those shows. Those shows were decent, so good. But then they give us some real crappy shows like Mob Wise and Loving Hip Hop and Basketball Wise. Now those shows pretty much out of the way. We get hit with another array of crappy shows. Mob Wise Chicago. Boo. Big Inch. You already know my thoughts about her. Big Inch sounds like a man. I, I started to think if she had a sex change right after high school because she sounds so much like a man. Her voice is really deep. <sighs> and, and, and a lot of people get on Britney Gr <clears throat> Excuse me, um, a lot of people get on Britney Griner, the um, the, bas the female basketball player for Baylor. A lot of people get on her because she sounds like a man too. But Big Edge sounds more like a man than Britney Griner. That's on the real, yo. Ain't no disrespect to Brittany Griner. She's a great basketball player. I think she has potential to be a star in the WNBA if she decides to pursue that. But Big Edge sounds like a man. I hate to say it. I never saw her show. And I, I care. It's about watching her show. I stand correctly. I stand by what I said. I think Judith should get on the show. At least she sounds like a woman. At least she's the most attractive one on the show. And at least she is somewhat attractive. I can watch Judith all day. I cannot watch Big Edge any day. Oh! Ouch. But, uh, who else is that? Uh, Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. I saw, I saw that one episode when Lil Scrappy and Stevie J got to fighting, but I'm not really loving Hip Hop thing. I can care less. You know, the first one tanked with, um, New York with Jim Jones and, uh, Olivia was on there. And, um, Christy, Chrissy, whatever her name, Jim Jones' mama. It, uh, it's Amaya. It's, it tanked. This one is probably doing a little bit better, but it's going to tank real soon. I might as well watch these loving hip hop things. Basketball wise, one and show. I'm not gonna get into that. You know, women seem to like basketball wise. I don't know why, but hey, but, hey, Shawnee's Shawnee O'Neal still fine. I still wreck her. Shaq is a fool for letting her go. Cheating on her, whatever he did. He's a fool for letting Shawnee go. She is cute. But yeah, um, uh, and Evelyn. Nobody cares about Evelyn. <laughs> Evelyn. Evelyn should not be on the show. I think, uh, I think, uh, Tammy and all those other girls, like I said, I know women who watch Best Wild Eyes, so I'm familiar with some of the storylines. 
I think Tammy and all those other girls should really beat Evelyn down. Get her a down south beat down. Even though y'all might be out west or up north, who cares? Get her down south beat down. But the shows that really, really struck a nerve with me are the shows that are on Fox. American Idol is bad enough. So you think you dance? I don't have a problem with that. I used to watch that show faithfully. Sabre Johnson, she killed it on her season. Well, why I start watching So You Think You Dance? Mary Murphy! Woo! She is annoying. She is annoying. I, she was so annoying, I could not watch uh, So You Think You Dance anymore. It just, I just got, it was just a hole for me. I, I could not watch it anymore. And you know, what else is out? Um, you know, ABC, they have Wipeout. NBC, they have America Scott Town, which was okay at first. And now it just... It just makes me go to sleep. Britain's got time to me go to sleep, so it's okay. But the new rotation of Fox shows... I don't know. I don't know what to say about this. This is... I really don't know what to say The X Factor. It's just a, it's just a rip-off of American Idol. American Idol is already bad enough. We don't need a, a rip-off of American Idol. Well, you are, and then you got, you got Simon Cowell, Paula Abdul as your host. You don't need any repost, yo. They got a new season starting up in September. Britney, Sir, I mean, Britney, damn. <laughs> who's our first but who's that? Britney Spears is, is uh, projected to be the uh, judge. See, they got, you know, they got to follow the 99-2010 pop role. They see Christina Aguilera on The Voice. Now they got to go hijack Britney Spears. To be on X Factor. Oh yeah, and the voice sucks too. Those cats could not sing with the crap. I saw about one or two episodes of The Voice, and I cannot watch anymore. Christina Aguilera still finds CeeLo. He's still the man. You know, he, he dresses where <laughs> at the time. Um, who was it? Alan V. He's I. Right. I don't have any problems with him. On Maroon Five, they're a decent man. Moves like Jagger, not so much. And on uh, Blake Shelton, the idiot butt wipe. I remember he came down here back in January. Lot, you know, we have a lot of country fans down here. It sucks. Then they have the audacity. The nerve. This first part, the nerve they have an after party for the freaking Blake Shelton concert. Well, this douchebag. Blake Shelton's a douchebag. Well, I will have a freaking after party for him. Screw him. He's a nobody. He's a loser. Why is he on the voice? I should be on the voice. I can I'm a better judge than him. On the real. But the voice it voice in X Factor it might be a little milder compared to what we got now. Take me out at the choice. I do not like either one of these shows. I think it my opinion I think the choice I my opinion I think the choice and take me out are just the TV version of Match.com and E Harmony and Black People Meet and or I might say White People Meet because it's pretty much White people on the show. Yeah, uh, on the real. What's up, all these freaking love shows out here, man? On the real, I, I can't, I can't stand it. It's getting, it's working my final nerves. On the, for real, sick of these shows, man. Give me one second. Some of those came up, and I gotta end this. Let's get these crappy shows off the air. No more of this. I'm tired of it. Hope y'all have a good day. April's on sign now. See ya.